This All right, hello. Happy Saturday, everyone. We're with uh, Adriano Game Changer working on disc NFTs, taking a deep dive into the Game Changer file system. So maybe not a deep dive because it's really deep. We don't have enough oxygen in our tanks, so we'll have to come up a few times. But with that, Adriano's going to show us a little bit about setting up a disc NFT what we can put in this disc, how to push play. Adriana, go ahead. Okay, thanks, thank you. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, we're actually going to to, uh, to mock some uh, some first, um, I mean, some, some ideas over these, these NFTs. Uh, but for, for start, uh, we will I mean, I, I'm going to introduce this uh, um, this concept. So, um, what is a disk NFT? Um, are are we going? Are we? Can we continue, guys? Or I, I'm watching something on the chat. We're good. Okay. Okay. Let me know if there is a call or something. I I guess I, it was me. Okay. So. Um, what is a disk NFT? The disk NFT is the asset, the, the, the type of asset that um, um, uh, materializes or 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 uh, I mean, it, it's the technology we use on the game changer file system to represent a file system which contents with which data lies on chain on the cardano blockchain so there is a protocol to store files on chain and the way we can kind of group them group these files on this uh file system hierarchy uh, or, or or you know directory setup um goes let's say inside an a special asset called this this NFT. Also, this help help us in in a lot of ways um, because, of course, we can share these these NFTs as a as a, a, a typical NFT on our wallets. But at the same time, it's like sending files. It's like sending a, a like a public, uh, for example, Google Drive link. Uh, through our uh, wallets, for example, um, and there are a lot of other use cases or benefits. You know, when you mint, when you create uh, or mint uh, assets on on any blockchain on on, on Cardano, you are using a, a set of keys, of wallet keys, okay, private keys, to 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 sign the minting transaction. This means that these NFTs are tied or depend on the owners of the keys. Okay, this means that only the owner of a certain key or a group of keys, or the owners of a group of keys, can create or mint uh, these these NFTs. And when you create a new mint transaction minting new disk nfts for example um uh you can update the like the the file system structure and the and the files of this file system okay so you can create a, a file system that you own and then you can update it of course it's on chain Meaning that everything that you once stored there is going to stay on chain forever, okay? But you can update this file system by creating new layers of data. These new layers will replace uh, all old layers, and this is how you can update on chain data. So the, the history of this file system will stay forever stored on Cardano blockchain, okay? Um, so th this is 
these are the basics okay so with with um like referencing this data on these uh, nfts we can do this kind of stuff like sharing this to other people um we can apply some hierarchy some folder structure let's say on this uh this on this um you know these file systems you can rename files move files from one directory to another and you can enforce ownership using your own wallet cryptography your own keys having all these concepts together allow us you know to, to have a, a nice file system um technology where we can start building upon okay or, or over this uh this uh protocol um jotting that because this is going to this question is going to pop up <laughs> um most likely uh how much data we can store here okay there is a, a practical limit because of some uh minor things but it's a, a very um i mean you can store a lot of information because an actual right event to this file system uh, requires more than one transaction so once again here from game changer wallet we are telling people that it's important to have a multi-transaction native wallet to deal with uh really a lot of <laughs> use cases for the blockchain in this case to actually store files on chain we need to split these files and store them on different transactions okay and one of these transactions is going to be minting the this kind of thing okay but this this kind of thing will reference all the data stored on all these other transactions very quickly um or as quickly as i can um let me check I should have okay. I should have here um, a lot of disk NFTs. Um, okay, I don't know if my stream is a bit lag. Okay, so uh, on on the wallet you can go to identity files and others. And here we have a lot of other special uh, assets. And um, the majority of these ones are these NFTs. So if I go, for example, to a test, one of these um, disks, you can check on the on information of the asset, uh, common stuff like a policy ID, an asset name, is an NFT or, or a, it's an asset, okay, a native asset on Cardano. But uh, on the metadata, we have the directory structure. And Game Changer Wallet, uh, as uh, as much as it can, it tries to understand to to uh, to deal with these files that you can have um, on a disk NFT, meaning that some file types, like for example, GC scripts that is the DSL, the language that Game Changer Wallet uses to connect to the apps, okay? Uh, it's it's an exec executable file. So we can click here and it's like a, an executable, executable file on Windows or whatever. Um, you can run uh, the app connections stored on chain. This is one of this is a, a new another use case of this file system. So um, remember, I'm going to give this this tip um, that is crucial to a lot of what we are going to be doing today. So guys, please remember this. Um, every the app connection is actually a, a, a game changer script underneath. Okay. This means because game changer scripts are open, 
uh, and can be uh, audited or cloned or modified. Uh, it means every DApp connection is open and, and you can modify it or audit it. To do it, you always can go to this drop down and click on edit in Playground ID. So once again, the files here can be, for example, one of the files can be a game changer script. And to see what is inside, may, for example, we can open this on the IDE of the wallet where we can call. So this is the game changer script stored on that file. This is JSON. That file is plain text, is JSON. And basically, as you can see, uh, this is not exactly what it's stored on the file, sorry. This is a wrapper script that actually is going to import what is stored on the file. So this is where this magic happens. There is um, a function on this DSL that is called import as script. And when you use it with a list of files from the file system, a file from this file system is represented by URIs that start with the protocol, game changer file system, then follows the policy ID of the disk NFT, and then the asset name of the disk NFT. And the version because remember, we store layers, versions of data on, on these uh, file systems. So here it goes the version, but this is not currently um, used to, um, right now because we need, um, for example, an HTTP server for, for dealing with this information. Please vote our upcoming fun 10 proposal for doing this because it's very very important so if we want to have versions here like one two three whatever instead of the latest version please both support us with that proposal is going to be game changing we need it okay um the last advertising here regarding the proposal is that Imagine if we have an HTTP server that serves information from fully on-chain information, we can have 100% on-chain the apps, censorship resistant, on-chain perpetual the apps. This is huge. So vote <laughs> our proposal, please. Okay. Then the last part of the URI is the path of the file. The directory is on the file and the, the file extension. So if I click continue, I mean run, sorry, I can run the exact same DApp connection, but now from the IDE. And we can check if we go to advanced, we can access a lot of information about this. Um, this the app connection and the script and the script execution or context. If I go to code, I will see the exact same code that we launched here. But if I click on full code, this code has uh, embedded, okay, inline the actual scripts imported from the file system. So here, the imported script block of the code will, of course, there is some other internal properties that appear, it's advanced, but from here, I mean, this part, sorry, um, this part here, all this stuff that we are reading here comes right from the Cardano blockchain. So all this part marked as blue is an actual file that comes from the file system, okay? This is a wrapper script 
that inside is going to nest the actual file system contents. Uh, I mean, a file from the file system. Um, and okay, Th this is um, this is an example. The I'm going to explain this, and then we can go to to the questions. But keep this in mind. You, uh, the guys here, ask me about, for example, use cases. Why? Why these these kind of things? So I'm telling you a lot of use cases. For game to your wallet, a huge use case depends on. I mean, uh, depends on on game changer file system. That is workspaces. So this thing that we have here are groups of different wallet configurations. So for example, uh, on the last um, uh, Gimbal Apps live session, um, Game Changer coding live session on Gimbal Apps, we uh, did this. A simple workspace that was prepared to receive, for example, payments from Catalyst. You know, Catalyst, and in Catalyst, you can um, propose a lot of um, projects there. And if you get luck <laughs> and, and you get funded, uh, you need to manage a lot of payments. But to track these payments individually without mixing the balances, we can, for example, create a workspace. This is what we did on this uh, coding live session. So we have here three different addresses, okay, with with names, and each name refers to a different catalyst proposal. And in theory, we can. I say in theory because this was a, a demo a demonstration. But you can, for example, copy the addresses here or explore the addresses. For example, we are here. I mean, we, we are, we can change. Uh, OK, maybe I have a bug or something weird is happening, but it's a minor thing. But uh, I mean, the, the thing is that you have here different addresses, and you can uh, switch. Uh, and navigate through these different addresses, and you will see different um, balances and, uh, for example, state delegations and whatever. Um, this is what I was trying to to show. Uh, basically, this is a workspace. You can create addresses. You can derive keys there. A lot of stuff. The configuration that creates these different workspaces is very important because what happens if I lost the configuration, sorry, why I if I lost the configuration that creates this, these three different addresses where Catalyst has sent me the money of, of, the, funded, of, of, the, of the funds, um, what happens if I lose these addresses, the, the, the recipe on how to build these addresses, rebuild them and, and loading them again on any other device. What happens? It's terrible. So one of the main reasons why, or the main use cases of Game Junior file system is to store workspace configurations, OK? And can anyone create a workspace configuration? Well. This is a good question, and the wallet deals or, or suggests to apply configurations or I mean wallet configurations that are signed by the same user, meaning that this NFT is created by the same user of the wallet with 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 the, the user's keys. Okay, this is the default um, behavior of the wallet and is using game changer file system to, to store perpetually information that needs to exist forever 
and also to enforce security. Okay. Uh, we can we can still, for example, create some um, uh, workspace recipes. I mean, this configuration. Um, and on, on, a, on a disk NFT and make someone else use it. But the wallet will um, warn us that that file is not created with our own keys. I mean, on, on, when we send this to someone else, uh, someone else's wallet <laughs> will complain about this. Um, one, there are ways to, to deal with that. Like that person can apply this configuration to their wallet and then can store a new game changer file system that they own uh, to deal uh, with this uh, with the security uh, of this uh, topic. Okay, I am going like, um, I mean, uh, I'm going too, too deep inside a lot of code sites. Yeah. yeah. I will try to, to focus now on what we were trying to do. But I mean, this is important, all the stuff that I told you, because it's a nice intro and a very, a very technical one. If you want to deal with workspaces, this kind of things, and whatever. Guys, tell me, I mean, what <laughs> what are the questions? What are you thinking? And if not, let's go to, to coding. Sure. Um, yeah, I, I like the way that you uh, explained that and, and conveyed how we can use that. And that is what I observed uh, from previous presentations from you, that any information that resides off chain, any data that lives off chain that should be integrated into the DAP or the organization itself can be used through this disk NFT mechanism. And some of those can be how, what the organization structure is, what the authority is in every action, governance action or treasury action. Um, it helps dictating the culture of how that organization operates and allows it to be replicated so you can um, continue to grow as that organization expands. So I guess just to cl clearly see if I'm understanding it clearly, when you talked about uh, these different smart contract support, Project Catapult, those are different proposals with different signatories. Now, let's say that's a, a collaboration effort between Gimbal Labs and, and Game Changer and somebody else or individuals, and th they are the ones that make up this uh, wallet, right, with the signatories. Uh, what I'm hearing is disk NFT, it could be built with a disk NFT, and that's sort of like a template. So if new collaborators, new contributors want to come in, then the, the wallet can build via adapt a new uh a new wallet with those additional signatories on it using the disk nft and that's a way to to capture your organization structure and the authority figures and so on and so forth such that it's it's allowing you to just go and build out is that accurate that's Perfectly accurate. <laughs> yeah, that, that's another um, use case uh, or reason behind this, this kind of this and the relationship with workspaces. You're totally right. Uh, remember, the only issue we will have here is that every time, for example, if we have a, a shared treasury, every time you make a change uh, on, 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 for example, on the native script, that you are using to build that address, the address will change. Okay. The good the good news here is that you can always refer to a prior version of your DAO by um, changing the version number of, for example, of a disk NFT that holds all these setups, all these recipes on how you are building your DAO. Okay, 
So this is why this uh, this version uh, feature of the of the file system is it's paramount because um, of course you can I mean you can feel that you're losing all your funds all your treasury funds if you add for example a new member you add a new member your native script changes therefore your treasury address changes okay but the prior treasury address uh, will still have all the funds and the prior version of your DAO stored on the prior version of, of the disk NFT will stay there forever for you to access once again, to maybe recover the funds and move to the, the new one. Um, so yeah, the, what you said is perfect. It's, it's, it's very accurate. Just I am, uh, I am adding this, uh, this information that, um, it, I mean, Cardano can be a bit tricky sometimes. It's not, um, you know, uh, it's not like Ethereum in, in some ways where you can do some, some magic and keep everything uh, centralized on, on the Solidity code. And, and here we have to deal with a lot of other uh, variables or concepts. Um, but it's, it's possible and it has a lot of benefits as well. So keep that in mind. It's not that I am saying that Ethereum is better. Don't kill me, guys. <laughs> okay. So, so let's. Um, I don't know if you have any other question or something, but if not, let's go to code. Maybe Demi. Demi, do you have any? I mean, did I address all your questions? Yes. I, yeah, you did, and um, I think Curtis says. Um, Curtis's um, um, description um, actually give better um, um, clarity on um, a use case um, or, or how, um, give me a clearer picture of how a disk NFT um, plays a, a significant role in um, workspaces and um, storing um, um, the configuration of um, how workspaces are um, um, Built. So thanks. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, okay. So um, now I, I don't know how mu how how much I can uh, tell about the project that we were discussing to do. Uh, maybe if you want, guys, while like I'm coding, maybe someone can explain or or not. Whatever. It's okay. But basically, we need to um, use the file system to do some stuff. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, I am changing to my main address on, on this default native default workspace that we all have. Um, if we go to discover and we go to the development center and then on the playground, this is the IDE of the one. Okay. Q, do you want to say something? Go ahead. Uh, always, uh, I always want to say something at the wrong uh, time. Um, you're doing this with your with your with a mainnet wallet. I'm wondering for uh, contextual interpersonal understandings if anyone else would like to do this along with you on you know their wallet. Like I'm going to do this. Um, with you um, on what I consider my business wallet, or should I do it with my personal wallet? Um, uh, and that's really for the people here the, on the team. The, do they want to do it uh, that way? Because you know you're doing it with your wallet and everything. If we're going to, if someone else is going to build some of these things, you know, some of the context because Game Changer is, is kind of you can be in a wallet, but in you know which specific wallet and how it connects there's some interesting stuff there so yeah uh, code along fellas if you can okay let yeah, me I'll, I'll let you know. yeah could this sorry as you're saying yeah I'll, I'll follow along and listen while i'm listening oh um, curtis if you'd like to drop your address in chat we can add you to some things you let me know 
Do we know if uh, if I am answering your question correctly? Okay, but yeah, I mean, um, we, we can we can try this out uh, to explain it better um, live. But uh, basically, um, the biggest I mean, the the good practice on on game changer. Um, this game changer uh the app connector technology or the, or the good practice on this dsl on this scripting language is to try to make both as as wallet agnostic as i always say as possible meaning that let's try to make this code to work on any other wallet if this is our of course it's our uh, uh concern or our interest okay but uh, this is very different on how uh, we are used to build with CIP30 um, the app connectors. So this is a, a very important um, difference here. Um, very quickly, I don't want to uh, spend too much time here, but this is the um, like a default um, example that loads automatically here that builds a transaction. If you check the code, we are not talking about UTXOs, balances, or anything else. If I go to connect very quickly and I generate here, sorry, if I and, and I generate or copy this URL and I open this on, on a new computer, on a new device uh, around the world, maybe later, I don't know, months later um some other user on 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 his or her wallet will open this the app connection that I, that that code that i had uh, on the playground on the id there um and and will uh benefit from this idea of doing wallet diagnostic code because it's going to work and i didn't have to know about who this person was. I'm sorry, my internet is terrible today. <laughs> okay, uh, this is a burner wallet. It's a default wallet that opens um, uh, by default <laughs> on, on, on new um, devices. Uh, you can use it or discard it. You can load your mnemonics. Uh, hardware wallet integration is coming. Maybe other types of uh, wallet uh, type are, are coming also to Game Changer. This is the default one. If if you check this is the, the app connector. If you check here, the code that I was showing there is here. Okay, and this works on a user that I maybe I'm never going to meet in my life that I didn't know if it if. <laughs> it existed, I mean, or not, uh, his wallet. So this is how this DApp connection technology works. And IQ, I don't know if this asked your question regarding workspace recipes. When we deal with shared treasuries, we need to use, for example, references to specific key pairs, specific key, key hashes then we are doing something that is meant to point to specific wallet information, um, okay? But uh, some parts of that code. Maybe other parts can be whatever diagnostic as well. Q, go ahead. And this is, this is a, a yes, no, true, false question. Um, you could take that coin sending demo, which, uh, which is an airdrop app, and then could you um create one on mainnet with your own information to uh, only have it being available at a trade show or for one day or you know could you put a time element on a very specific airdrop like that yes or no uh, yes yes you can okay you can great do. okay but That's not it. i mean Okay, but I need to clarify something. You said mainnet. This is remember we are on beta, on this beta version. We are we yes. are on pre-production. 
right now. Yes. Because we're like yes. Yeah, yeah, but we can do the same thing with the mainnet version, ultimately. Yes. Okay. It's going yes. to be the exact same thing. Great. Very quickly, if you're interested in this, go to the uh, the TTL. Wait, is somewhere here. Here, transaction time to leave demo. You have a lot of examples, actually a lot of transactions um, that uses different uh, time windows setups. Here you can make, for example, a transaction only works on uh, a, a starting point or until a, a certain point in time. Okay, that that I guess that's your question. Yeah, yeah, and to to add a use case um, or an example to that, uh, if it were a multi sig, you're saying time to live. Um, you know, I was reading that as time to live and, you know, and time to, for it to begin, but ultimately you know, the the time to live, you could set a beginning and an end this transaction. Perfect, perfect, right? You can deal with that in two points of your, uh, of, of your transaction. On the transaction itself, okay, like I'm showing here, or on the, for example, if you have a treasury address, you can put time locks on that treasury address. But be very careful because if you miss that setup, that treasury address is going to turn into, a, you know, um, a recycle bin that where you are not going to be able to recover your funds and are going to be stuck there forever. Okay, just okay. remind. And if 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 we had a time to live, and we intended we intended to use it as a temporary thing, if it was to be, we could we could add a, a script to say if you know that time if we pass the time to live, return funds to X or return thing you know return something. This is something that. Um happens on Cardano that it's not going to happen automatically, as far as I know. Um, but what you can do is to enable someone to gain spending permissions to recover that, that those funds. Okay. Wonderful. So, something yeah, like, so that. like a fallback to some other set of rules. Yeah. Yeah, okay. exactly. Exactly. And, and, and on Game Changer, you can do it. You can do it with JSON. It's very easy uh, to do it or very practical. I mean, uh, you can build very complex, uh, nested even uh, uh, native scripts, for example. Um, there is one here that is called um, advanced, something like that, advanced native scripts or advanced, okay, I don't know where it is, <laughs> but uh, complex native scripts, for example. Here we have, something similar to that thing that can be used for voting or something like that. Uh, at the end, um, for example, here, at the end, we have this native script that enforces the execution or the validation of these other nested, these uh, this three other nested native scripts. And one is, I don't know, like a voting one regarding consensus between people. The other one is a time window, and the other one is who knows, <laughs> meaning that you can nest stuff, you can do a lot of stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's continue with the file system, guys. What do you think, or do you have any other questions? No, I think that's, that's good. Um, yeah, go for it. So it, I don't know if we should start with like a a voting type structure of a proposal. Do we want to start with the proposal itself or the the vote? Mm, okay, uh, we we can. Um, I I just want to introduce you to this um, to this API to these uh, functions because we know we can create files and. We know files, but what about how much we can 
query on this file system? What is what filtering, what, what uh, search, uh, you know, features we have available? This will help us define a strategy for for doing this this uh, this product. So um, we we can do this in a lot of ways. Um, but let's let's imagine, for example. Let's imagine. Uh, no, this one. Huh. Okay, we can use. We can use, for example, file extensions. This is this is very silly. This is very silly. I mean, it's an example. We can make this as complex as we want. We can start this approach by searching for file extensions. Okay, remember the, the the most critical thing here, critical, the most um, important thing on any voting system is, uh, I mean, who is the, what is the whitelist? What can be a blacklist to allow voting or not? Because otherwise it's, it can be a mess. This, as simple as it looks, um, has no, um, you know, whitelist enforcement. We are going to search for files that end with both yes and files that end with both no, for example. One question to design a voting system is, do you know beforehand who is going to vote? If, if you know this, this information, you can then use it. Um, if, if not, we will have to, I don't know, deal with it differently. Right? Um, this tiny script can be our first step, for example, for doing such a, such a project. I'm going to change this just because, um, to, to, to show actual data. Imagine that for a JS, we are searching for J, J files and for no, we're going, we are searching for PHP. Okay. So if I run this, and we capture the response that comes from the wallet, from the execution of this script, this is the response. We have a JSON response that once we open, we we process this information on the DL, we have a list of URIs from different file systems. You can see, of course, this this is me most likely because I'm storing a lot of files for testing. But here, for example, we have someone else that has stored um, uh, a file. We have, for example, here all these files that can be different votes for yes. Okay. And here we can say all these files represent each a vote for a no. With this information, if we parse this, we analyze this, we have, for example, here, remember this is the policy ID. If this is the policy ID, of the person who wrote, who created this, this file or this boat, we can then, for example, start uh, talking about whitelisting or blacklisting because uh, with this policy ID, we can then try to match, match it with the actual signer. And we can, for example, enforce um, a certain disconnect kind of name for example, if uh, we have a platform name, like Game Changer, for example, we can say, okay, uh, 
Another rule is that the asset name of the disk NFT should be named Game Changer. We can do that uh, by adding a new parameter here on the sort. And we say here, ask name. Ask name, and here we can say, um, let's find something. Okay, for example, we can do this kind of stuff. Um, we can enforce also policy IDs. So if we are on a DAO, imagine that we design a DAO, not a DAO, imagine, let's keep it more technical. Imagine that we create um, that for our DAO, we create a native script that uh, enforces the rule that only at least one, one of all the participants can sign something with that native script. So if we do that and we use, for example, that native uh, script for updating these, these NFTs, we have created a whitelist enforced by the blockchain. And we can enforce this on the search by saying policy ID. And of course, adding here the policy ID uh, that matches that native script. This is how we can turn this more professional, okay? And, and make it work better. So this, this is like the, like, like the end like the like the goal of of this uh, of the use of this API uh, to retrieve the votes, and then if you if you have an app that captures this data, uh, you read this information and you can render or process this information. Okay, an example. Remember always that if this turns into uh, URLs we can make this tiny app by just copying here this HTML. And Q, I know you want to talk. Let me finish this one second, please. <laughs> um, I don't remember. Okay, so very quickly. Come on. So th this is the deal, okay? This is the HTML that the that the wallet generates for you to to start integrating this code on a on a deal. The first steps. Check this out. Uh, oh, okay. This happens only on Copen because. Uh, I need to run this. Uh, I am on the embedded mode, okay? So, there are some security uh, constraints here. Uh, on embedded mode, it's, the wallet is not, uh, does not behave uh, like like always, uh, I need to adapt this for code. Um, I have a code that does this, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, bear with me a second. I need to finish. I need to set um, up this. Q, do you want to ask the question while I try to? 
I don't remember what it yeah, is. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to ask Cole the question. You guys let me know if there's an echo. Okay, should I mute myself? Actually, yeah, if you don't mind muting yourself, I'm just going to talk for a little bit. And if you give me a thumbs up, uh, I'll answer. I'll give that. Well, no, um, not you, Dave. Uh, Adriano, if you give me a thumbs up with your hand, you know, visual, I'll take that as a yes. Thumbs no, be down. Great. What you showed us earlier with the um, query that we had true faults or yes no's there that could be um, doing a query on uh, who voted yes who voted no thumbs up yes thumbs up, down no wait I, I missed the last part that can be the query you said to retrieve the, the votes the voting results right yes it's just that's what you did so yeah Ultimately, I was wanting to say, hey, everybody record or make note of when that section was happened so we can go back and reference it. That was a very important part. Great. Basically, what I'm doing now is to adapt a bit the code here that Game Changer what it, uh, auto generates for you. Uh, I'm adap adapting it a bit to work uh, better on on code, okay? Just, uh, I, I was using a, a template I have. Check that this is JavaScript and I am pasting the actual JSON that was inside the, the wallet with the searches, you know, the uh, what we were uh, calling, actually. I need to check, yeah. Check how, very quickly, check how on the app side, we have the, the the former code here, and check how this um, template, this this uh, setup here on Colton, injects some data on the script on the code, and changes, for example, the return URL. The URL that is going to capture the results of this uh, of this execution. Um, this is basically the trick I was looking for. Um, so, once again, this is what actually the, the, the we, almost what the wallet built for, for ourselves. If I run this with, with those uh, warnings, if I execute this code, it's going to automatically redirect with these results. The same results we, we watched before. When it redirects, check this out, the HTML code with the JavaScript, I mean, this web page captures the result and renders the result on the HTML of, you know, of, the, of this page. Meaning that this basic uh, code pen, if we add a little, a little of love here um, over these results, we can render the results of the vote. Okay. This is um, like this is the very basics of of this system on how we can start building actually something. <laughs> so I was totally impressed by just the inquiry, seeing the results, and now you've just showed us that. You can actually, with a game changer and a little bit of code, code pen, format it to present these results to the community or make them more you know, fancy. Okay. Get it to front end, the lock worker, I guess. So um, let's um, let, let's make an example very quickly, so we can we can. Uh, uh, like get get closer to the idea. So if I go to, um, first of all, I'm going to save this file. <laughs> um, yeah, please save that. And I think it would help us if we 
uh, had an example where we were all using the same disk MFT that had some sort of a workspace workplace to it. You're getting there. I, I am. I, yeah, I'm going to not. I'm not going to get into the workspace just yet. I'm going to mock some bots. Okay. Okay. But uh, actually, let me let me see. Uh huh. Let me understand something. Um. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's. Guys, are you? Um. Can you prepare? Uh. Please. Uh. Some beta. Uh. Prepared wallets. Uh. On your side. Because I'm going to share you two two links, two URLs, uh, and if you use one, you're going to be voting for yes. If you use another one, you're going to be voting for no. Okay. So uh, please <laughs> um, get get ready. Um, uh, we need uh, wallets with um, with funds. You can use the the airdrop of the of the wallet, and that's going to be sufficient because we also need UTXOs. The airdrop generates also UTXOs. That's that's uh, something nice. Uh, so what we need to do. Uh, Okay, just to make this uh, to be clear, you can go to deploy and you can create um, your disk NFTs or update disk, disk NFTs using this interface, okay, graphically. For example, um, I can have an empty file here. Uh, we can put here the, the, the paths, you know, of, of for example, roads, okay, whatever. We can change the file names. And here it goes on hexadecimal, the content of the files, okay? <clears throat> we can <clears throat> very quickly add uh, on this file system the current code that we're coding on the code editor by just clicking this button and the HTML that I was showing you before with this other button. If we check here, sorry for these empty ones, I'm going to clear them. If you check, we have the game changer script file and the index HTML loaded here, uh, ready to be stored on chain on a new file system if you want. This is graphically, okay? Uh, the graphical user interface for this kind of piece. But now we need to do it uh, more uh, advanced, in a more advanced way. So we need to go to the to this demo, for example. I like to start from demos because I don't remember the, the syntax 100%. So, uh, and please remember, if you go to documentation here, you can check all the documentation of this DSL. Uh, okay. So, um, let me. Let me think how we can do this stuff. Um, How's everyone on time and availability? Or if I can do a quick check in. Okay. Um, I'm transitioning from leaving the house. I'm going to grab my laptop to try and take it, use hotspot so I can connect. Okay. 
I mean, how are you? How are you guys with time? Do we have time? Uh, are we okay? Should I wrap something here, or it's okay? No. Okay. I'm good on time. If you guys are. Yeah, I am. Uh, should I wait for who they? Okay. Uh, no. no. Okay. Okay. So, um, wait. Let, let's go. In, let's do something. Um, let me let me think a bit. I, I am designing this thing on my head. So, bear with me while I <laughs> I do it. Um, Okay, let, uh, let's let's keep it simple. Let's don't let's avoid filtering um, quite yet. Let's let's make this voting very open, just for now. Uh, but for for preparing for the actual um, for for the final code. Uh, I mean, what, what, if we are going to be storing the votes on the same uh, file system, shared file system, uh, we need to avoid file collision. Because if we don't avoid file collision, we will uh, be replacing other votes. <laughs> okay, so we need to make these files different and. A good idea would be to make these files specific. Um, uh, th let's deal with file names here for this. Uh, we can make these files file names specific to uh, users. Okay, each user should have a different file name uh, in preparation for when we are going to be using the same file system. To avoid these collisions. So uh, let me think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, find you. What we're going to do? I'd like to maybe this dependencies stage on the code. Um, We can like solve uh, stuff before uh, using it. So, uh, let's call a property here that is going to be user key hash, the, the key hash of the user that is going to be casting the vote. For doing this, um, Wait, I'm doing this before we need to. Um, hmm. Grab some information about the 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 keys of the of the wallet of the used wallet. So in this case, sorry, it's uh, time. Okay, here, main, main, okay, um, I don't remember the name, public spelling key, something, let me check. <laughs> And that is and okay. 
Okay. And with the current public key of the user. The current meaning that is the public key that uses this current address that the wallet is using here. So we use this function of the DSO here. I get spending public key, and let's let's see what what happens. Okay, so I will run this code. Okay, this is wallet agnostic. This this is going to run on users that I don't know yet who are going to be. So we are going to be grabbing some information from these um, end user wallets. And what we need to use is the public key hash X, this property. Check that the name of, of this uh, piece of code, of this block of code is key info, right? So key info and ends up being the results of the execution of that function that is this um, data so then we are going to actually let's keep it simple let's keep it simple not simple uh, uh, to go directly to um that's going to build the transactions that are going to be casting this vote so to do that i had some open um tabs here so to build a vote, we will for that we will need to build a file, I mean build file system transactions. Okay. Uh, okay. A description on the NFT. For asset name, let's say vote. Okay. Uh, this is the amount of of assets if we change this we will be generating like uh, a semi fungible token or or whatever you want to call it <laughs> um no append if we use no append um this will every time we we call this again is going to um erase previous information on the file system so um no let's keep it false um regarding indexing index file names or index file data let's let's index this stuff so then we can run queries with this file system if we put here true okay for example on here true uh we make this file system like hidden okay not available on um searches okay uh it's not super hidden so be careful uh it's not that with this you're going to be hiding information uh, everything on the blockchain is public if you want to really hide some stuff you need to encrypt your files okay so layers here we um design our file system so here we are going to be storing a file uh, we can use this that we have here we can say um, books 
And hey, John, if you wouldn't mind uh, zooming in or increasing that just a little bit for us. So we can see yes. some. No, it's good stuff. I see what you're saying. Okay, here. Better? Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, sorry. Um, I'm an old man and I can't see. Um, okay, so I, I am trying to to think some, some stuff here um, in preparation for what's coming. So dependencies. Mm. I don't remember if I allowed this API to, I, I mean, check this part. I, I don't know how how much you know this uh, syntax, this language, but this thing that we are working here is a macro. It's a, a tiny piece of code that is going to, um, um, during the execution of this code is going to be replaced by its results. Imagine that the result is free, for example. Um, this is what's going to happen inside, I mean, during the execution of the of the script. This is why macros are very handy on this uh, language. Uh, what I want to do is not just inject um, here the file contents, the, the, the data of files, but also I want to add it here. And I think, I don't remember if I have that, um, if I have uh, enabled macros here. This is why it's important to test the data and give me feedback because this is a very simple thing. Uh, but if we don't have this, it's going to be, uh, you know, not ideal. Uh, I need feedback, guys. <sighs> um regarding this thing here um this macro this macro here grabs the results or or, or uh, what's stored um previously on the on the execution of the of the code uh it's going to wrap that information it's going to like use it here uh, it's like dealing with variables, okay? Um, what this does, it is nested. As you can see, this function is nested inside this other function. The other function turns a string into its hexadecimal representation or encoding. So um, what we need to do is, for example, for the content, is to point to the right direction. Let's keep it um, simple and let's say on dependencies, dependencies, we are going to grab what's inside e info, and then what's inside e info. Remember, e info when it, when the code runs is going to uh, store its results we are going to be grabbing this one, this property, the hash. So here we have, for example, the content of the file load. Um, that's going to be the key hash. Why not? I mean, it can be something else. Let's, let's do that for now. Regarding this, um, I'm going to take my chances here and I'm going to mm. okay solve this um, let's um, Once again, demos to the rescue. It's it's very handy to copy and paste. I 
I don't care if I am doing this on my own created language. It's just too much information. I don't know. What I need to do is to use this function on the macro that is um, going to replace parts of, of a string by of a text by another um, uh, values. Okay. So let me copy this. I'm going to try to use it here, but I am I am worried that it's not going to work, and I will have to do something else. So this is the former text, like the template of what we need to. Um, To create text, the text we need to create. Here we I'm going to change this. I'm going to say um here. So here, I'm going to replace p hash, okay, p hash, and be replaced by whatever I put here. And once again, I'm going to put the key hash. Okay, and that's it. In theory, If I allow this uh, replacing, I told you guys, this is going to work or this is going to fail and we will have to do it differently. So if I run this, I will find it. So what's, what's happening? <laughs> the code is not prepared to receive macros there, okay? As I told you. Meaning that we may have to create an intermediary um, right. an intermediary stage where we can say if have different layers we can create here. Uh, Create here directly a macro. macro okay. I'm throwing a lot of tricks here. It's nice uh, that we are recording this. So um, here we say run, so we run, and here we can, I mean, here. On this property on the RAM, the macro function, we can um, design a JSON, um, a JSON value. It can be everything that uh, every type JSON uh, allows you to to define. But uh, you can there you can use um, macros everywhere inside this structure. So I will. Try and let's hope this works. Uh, I will use this structure here. The same thing that we needed that we need to nest here on this function. We are going to be uh, define it here. Uh, hopefully, this should work. Um, Body expected where I have, a, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, what I need to do here is to let's do it from zero so you can see get we can we need to use again macros and we need to reference the result of f s layers. So, we say like j where all the um execution results get stored 
then we say dependence, dependencies, and then we say FS layers. Check that FS layers lies inside dependency. Okay. And we need the entire result of FS layers here, nested here. So hopefully this will work. Let's let's check it out. And it worked. If I click continue, and that's it. We have two transactions generated. Okay. When these two, two transactions get confirmed on the blockchain, we have made our first casted vote. We have casted the vote. Okay. Uh, remember all these um, temporary uh, transactions. Um, are consuming UTXOs from our wallet. So if we are not going to actually be sending those, let's delete them to release those UTXOs, okay? Remember that. So before I close this, I want to check what happened. If I go to exports, I have, because I have not set up something different on exports, every stage of the code with its results is going to be uh, returned uh, to the DApp as an export. So we can check the results. Here we have the, the results of key info. And then here we have the results of file system layers. Remember this trick I had to do with macros to insert this on the on that function. Check how the trick I did with macros generated this file path, the name of this file, okay? Where we have this part that is the key hash that is replaced by the actual key hash of the user wallet and the extension both yes, okay? And then we have the file and the hexadecimal representation of the file that actually is the key hash inside. And the build vote is a transaction list. Each of these lines on this array on this list is the seaboard of this, the, the two transactions we generated. Okay, this is casting a JS vote. Okay, so but I need to, I mean, we have built this transaction. We need to send them to the blockchain or sign them. Otherwise, uh, makes no, no sense. Um, okay, I'm going to copy everything here and, and adapt it um, to our code. So here, I mean, here, this is where we build the transactions, and here we sign them. Sign them, we use the function of the language, and here, another macro that we reference the results of this function. Okay? And this lies inside nothing. It's uh, at the same level, top level of dependencies. So um, I need to make this this way. So cachet.buildcodes. Then the, sub, the submission of these um, transactions happens on this stage. Um, and we need the same name and it's okay and at the end at the end we will say um i'm going to do something more poetic that something is um i'm going to say
Insular Rehash Bulk it. Yes. Okay. And this is going to be the result of the of the script. Uh, okay. So let's put the title here. Um vote. Yes. Um On. So save the file and I will run this code. Okay. Oh. Transaction list need to be Got array. Okay, let me check something is wrong. Um, on the stage here, I don't know where. But... Okay. Guys, in the meanwhile, um, do you have any questions while I'm going to debug the code? Um, let me know. I am talking alone since ages. Okay, I will maybe wrap uh, this uh, part then. Yeah, so far I don't have any questions. I'm, I'm actually really fascinated. This is really great. Thank you, Gajorano. Thanks. <laughs> okay, but please let let me know if um, I don't know if, if it gets very complicated if you're lost on on any point. Uh, because this is for you guys. I'm. I'm I'm here for for helping you, so let me know. Okay. So I I cannot hear you. you it's very low um, volume. Sorry, uh, I'll type in the chat. Um, no, it's still very low. I'm sorry. Oh, he's going to type the question in the chat. One of okay. us will read it off. Mm -hmm. Now I can hear you perfect. Okay, I am, he will be reading the, the, the chat. Uh, guys, um, what is wrong with this code is that, um, and, I, and I got confused here, um, when dealing with list of transactions, or functions that generate list of transactions, like this build file system transactions function, sometimes we need to access some property inside its results. And this is what's missing on the code, this property, transaction list. Okay, so if I go back to the code and I go, here, build vault. Okay, the results of the, of the generation of these transactions to store the file system. I need to access this property, transaction list. Okay, now in theory, this will work. If I run this. Yeah. Okay, now it works. We are going to sign these transactions. Here we have the overview of the transactions. This is a 
uh, a unified view, okay, here, the overview, and here is the individual view to, to audit what we're assigning. Because it's a list of transactions, we have two here listed with its own, um, you know, fee, uh, UTXOs, whatever. Mm -hmm. And the last one should have a mint. And the mint is the actual disk NFT. Okay, so far, everything I promised. <laughs> and are you going to mint five or six of those and send to us all so we can use them? Uh, yes, we could do that. Or I can send you the URL in this case. Okay, whatever. great. <laughs> if, whatever is the, quick, the quickest uh, solution. <laughs> so, uh on the overview we can see all for example the the spending i mean the, the permissions if we are going to be minting okay if we are going to be sending assets outside our wallet or as um change outputs for example um uh, i don't know everything's here for example we're going to be executing a simple contract a native uh script okay Okay, I'm going to say yes. Um, <laughs> okay, let me check what happened regarding permissions. Yeah. So, uh, second sections. Okay, what's wrong here? Actually, it's not wrong. It's very cool what happened. Um, is that game tenure works with permissions? And uh, if we want to um, make this super professional and super um, secure, we can work uh, with permissions, not against permissions. Uh, but because we are learning or doing this quick, we are going to be using, uh, well, I don't remember the, the property, I guess it was the tail permissions and this has to be false if this code runs it means it, <clears throat> the syntax is validate if it don't work uh, i'm wrong uh adriano can you provide a url please uh curtis i know is working remote so he's going to need a url thank you yeah, I will. I mean, the URL for for this code, I will. Let me let me run a code. A, 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 let let me cast a code, uh, a vote, and and then I will share the link. Let them get the damn thing, man. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure that we got Curtis covered. Okay, so um, vote yes. Continue. <laughs> Let's cross fingers. So. Uh huh. Okay. Continue. 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 If we check, I mean, what hap what's happening here? We are awaiting now for uh, transaction confirmations. Here we can see what's happening with each of our transactions. Okay, we have this one that is uh, that it's uh, confirmed. I mean, this one is confirmed, and this one is getting its confirmations. Remember, this process involves backends, so we have to wait a bit. But if this turns yellow or white, it's most likely that it worked, and it's already uh, included on the ledger of Cardano. Okay. But we need to await for um, for the back. Um, remember, there are micro forks and some other stuff from Cardano that can play some some weird tricks here. So it's this is why we have to wait a bit. But even if we are very impatient, we can re make a retry and force the backend to like to give us a, a, a more quick response. And that's it. This worked. Um, we don't have to do all this stuff. I mean, 
these are tricks, uh, tips from my part, but if you're a, an end user, you can just click continue, continue, continue here and, and wait for the green done button. And return with data. If I click here, uh, okay, I should uh, tell the code to avoid send, sending all this information, but this is what I was uh, preparing for the, for the result. A text that says user, um, the user has voted yes. Okay, um, this is the actual result I wanted to, to set up here. So check how this is not JavaScript, this is not Haskell, but this DSL allows you to code very uh, powerful stuff uh, without too much complexity. I mean, of course, it's complex to understand it at the first side. But uh, when you understand this, uh, <laughs> this syntax, you can do a lot of stuff with JSON without working low level or whatever. Um, so here, return. Uh, this is not mandatory, but I need you to understand this stuff. So then you can do it by yourself. So here it's a uh, return mode. Um, I guess I don't remember the syntax. Uh, um, mode. Uh, no, this was um. I don't remember the syntax. I'm going to go quickly to the documentation. The first item here is the, the type script function that is like a block of code. And here we have all the properties available. Here is what I was looking for. The return property has all these variation possible where you can use all of this stuff. I'm going to use this one, some, because we can use one, but I'm going to use some because it's uh, better to scaling the code. So return, and we have to use inside mold, some, and then keys. So return, mold, some, and keys, I had some syntax effects. <laughs> so what this is going to do is going to pick from dependencies, from build bolt, from sign transactions, submit transactions, or finally, it's going to pick all the ones I set up here, and that's going to be the actual result of the script. And this is powerful and important because, of course, you are designing your DApp connection here. But at the same time, you are, for example, re removing or avoiding to deliver back to the DApp, for example, information that maybe it's private or maybe you, you don't want to, to deal with it because maybe it's too much or whatever. So that the only thing I want to deliver back is the results of finally, okay? And, and that's it. So now, a very quick execution to just check if it validates. And it validates. So now I will save this. And now, um, I mean, check this. This is hard-coded. This here is hard coded. The both yes file extension is hard coded. We can maybe automate this, but let's do it <laughs> hard coded for now to keep it simple. I'm going to, sh to send you, um, I'm going to connect, and I'm going to copy the URL, and I'm going to be sending you this to the chat. So each one of you will be able to cast a yes vote and i'm going to put here that it is a yes yes okay 
okay something is happening and i cannot i don't know why uh remember the first url is a yes vote okay guys please can you can you run that uh from your side then hey Jonah. Yes, you should we run this in the browser that we currently have uh, a wallet open in or somewhere yeah yeah let do it I, I mean the idea is to populate um this um uh, yeah, with some results the the final got invalid is. run 65 must be object no, let's see, no what did you say you sorry I was invalid API run it's got to be a an array uh, zero to nine something run 65 is everywhere run 65. yeah there you go they put it in the chat well this is very weird um can you try to reload that ah okay maybe you know you know what maybe google has messed up our uh, links so can I share you the link uh, anywhere else? Like um, on yeah, drop Discord? it to me in Discord. Okay, yeah. The issue is that I changed the code. Or just in a, <laughs> send us the NFTs. <laughs> totally. No, I know, I know we can do that, but uh, it's going to take time. Let's let's move quickly. You're right. We can do that way. But uh, let's let's do it. Um, you know faster with urls um we sure, will give us an experience of what it's like to be in the wallet which but go i'm not arguing this is the yes uh, well, do you have it there check, yes, check it out if there is it. something wrong let me know let me do it before i share it with uh dave and uh, okay cast okay. no Okay, great. Oh, no. And here we say no, 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 no. We can remember we can automate these. We can use some arguments on this language to to pass arguments to this um, to this code from outside. Um, it's not Turing complete, a Turing complete language, but it allows. Um, almost every basic fee language feature uh, without um, without iterations and without conditionals, because the idea is to keep it as deterministic as possible. Iterations will come uh, eventually, but conditions, conditionals, no, uh, it's no, I don't think it's going to happen because the idea is to keep this the results of these codes as deterministic as possible. Um, so with conditionals, we can trigger actions. And the idea is that those conditions happen on the on the outside. Okay? That's like the logic of this stuff. So every action that you're asking to a user to, to accept and to, to run should have a same or a very similar result okay without branching different uh outcomes okay i i need to check this but i guess it's okay no okay. this is the cast for the no it's okay on my side for the yes vote Okay. Okay. There is something here that I forget that was very basic. But guys, this is the the this is for start. Uh, of course, with more time we can improve this. But the thing also that happens here is that um, as a user can vote yes or no at the same time. So this is not ideal. It's not a good thing, uh, of course. But so to deal with that maybe we can um 
we can use the same file name for a user, okay? Uh, but we can change the content of the file, okay? But then we need to make a bit more complex um, the... No, it's not, okay, I have an idea to make it simpler. Okay, whatever. Uh, we will reach that that thing. Let's um let's analyze. And Adriana, the results. it went all the way through. It looked like it was running. Um, it looked like it was uh, registered on chain, but then I still got the error. It kicked back for the yes. I mean, yeah, for the yes. Wait, can you, can you say it again? There is an error where with the yes vote. Yeah, so it runs through almost all of the transactions. Um, I'm running the no. Vote no right now, um, and it runs through almost all of them, but it does hit. So right now I'm at the overview uh, of this. Do I want to sign the two? I'm going to hit yes. Um, yeah, and um, gentlemen, uh, I dropped the the links, the URLs uh, in the Discord. Okay, but I, I still don't get it. What what's wrong? Can can you if there is something wrong, can you show me a screen capture? Sure. And can more than one person share a screen? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, but share it okay. share it to me through Discord if you want. Yeah, yeah, I will. So this was the code for the cast. Okay. Yes. Curtis, if you put it in a burner wallet or a brand new one, you won't need a you won't need to do a password, maybe. Okay, and when is hey? Okay, we have two vote yes from different wallets and one vote no from this the same wallet I, I guess is Q's. So my vote yes must have must have went through. Um, and then when I go back it goes back to I, I know what happens. And when I go back it goes back to the first the first URL you shared, the wrong one with Google. You know, it goes. Ah, so, this is yeah. because the browser history. Um, yeah, that, exactly. Yeah. Okay, but but it, it worked. So. Uh, yeah, it, it worked. It worked, but going, you know, what does it look like? Um, From, yeah, from what does it look like doing the other option? You know, uh, oh, okay. I mean, um, actually, if I never would have copied the Google link, I wouldn't be asking, you know, anything. What does it look like if you do it the right way or if you do it through an NFT, yeah. you know? The, but it was the Google link that was wrong that had me confused. So that's all. Um, okay. Uh, well, it's an error, I mean, like a developer error, okay? <laughs> it's not hey, so should. let me pause for a minute, if I can. Um, Demi, I understand you have to go to, you have to go to bed. Um, do oh. you have any questions specifically for Adriano? Now's the time for you. If, you know, like, if you have a few minutes, I would, I would suggest that, you know, we turn the mic floor over to you if you want to ask some things. Yeah, guys, uh, shoot whatever you Yeah, you okay. Uh, right. And, and let me think. Mm, not, not at the moment. I'm still following on, you know, everything in Trano is uh, taking us through. Um, okay. How about the... <laughs> 
how about the core questions where we began, you know, the disk NFT, the file system or the workspace, any of, any of those that you want to ask again or get some confirmation? Can we? No, no I, I have, uh, I think I have a solid understanding of um, what they are. And uh, I mean, it's, it's, all, it's, it's up to us to explore the possible implementations of this, this NFT on our own. So, yeah. Um, well, so far, so good on my end, on channel. Um, I believe I can still reach out to you, Adriano, uh, probably on Discord. Yeah. Um, um, if totally. I mean, guys, um, if we can, um, I mean, I know, I know it can be very lengthy, but uh, very long. But if we can also keep these live sessions um, with a lot of questions, you know, to to address and and and, and keep them public uh it's for the entire community is awesome yeah. if there are some stuff to solve privately of course let's do it but just remember remember that and for sure on this card uh, you can you can write me please guys join the yeah. what is uh if you have not yet yeah because right now yeah sure i understand uh, just at the moment i have no questions so I'm checking the new votes here. We have new votes coming through. Okay, we have a, a no vote here, a new one. So guys, uh, keep this in mind. Uh, I don't know if we are going to continue or we at least uh, Demi has to go, but keep this in mind. Remember, we have the problem that the same user is voting the two options at the same time we can deal with this by we can deal with this by making a change here very quickly i don't know if um you can stay for these two <laughs> tiny modifications so the first thing to do is to reuse the same file name so we are going to say in folder as extension okay so the same i mean a user cannot uh you know it will replace the file if he wants to um vote uh yes or no at the same time so it's not going to happen so very quickly this is a change and this is the other change we can say here instead of this we can say but no, right? So no. Are you checking the, the change? It's very simple. Okay. No. As for the no, we are going to store the no as file content. Okay. And that's it. Demi, if you need to leave. Okay, but remember, this is the, the change to avoid uh, that. And then we need to update a bit how we query a search. Okay, and th that's it. And Demi, it was a pleasure spending part of this day and night with you and working together. Yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Adrian, for your time. Thanks uh, for meeting you. Steve, uh, tomorrow. Yeah. All right, bye, guys. Bye. 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 Thank you. Later, Demi. Appreciate it, man. Talk to you tomorrow. Um, so, guys, how are we? Um, I, we are close to make this <laughs> much better. Um, how are we? Do we have questions? Can I make a coffee? Yeah, yeah I, I've got to stand up and walk around. Um, it, and to be completely respectful of everyone's time. I think Curtis is kind of out doing some stuff. And Dave, you're okay? Or let's just take a quick shot. Uh, yeah, I, Curtis is also running out of time. And I have to go pick up food, it seems like. So, um, yeah, I think we could just stop the recording from here and then edit out the ending of it. So, there we go. Oh, wait. Uh, Let, how guys, much time do you need, Adriana, to finish the?
Yeah. No, like give me 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and we solve this. Yeah, yeah, I can stay on. Okay, I just need for you to make some bolts. Uh, 10 minutes. Perfect. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay, okay, very quickly. Let's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's no finish this. So we, we have this solved here. We have the no. Okay, so now um, I hope this works. Uh, we can check it out, but uh, I guess it will work. This is the no string. Okay, it's, it should work. Just double checking. Yeah, it validates. So this is the new no bot that I'm going to share to Q. No bot. And I'm going to um Well, um, go to yes. I'm going to change this here for yes. So, the next thing here is that you can uh, apply much options, much more options with the same system. Um, okay, just double checking. Okay. Um, okay, I need uh, some votes, guys. So please, can you cast your, <laughs> your votes? Um, Using and the same even... No. No, give me a minute. I'm okay, sending gotcha. new ones. I'm going to. Already, we're not. I'm going things to... for optimization. Uh, time was, and I just sent it back to Adriano. <laughs> Why? I have it already. I know. Well, because we're going back, posting this. You're posting it to me, I'm posting it to them. Also, I'm just saying we're not optimized to work together in the best way. We can we can improve it. I I am going to cast the yes vote, guys. Okay, no, I'm going to do it. Wait, I'm going to do it on screen, so you can you can verify. Uh, I'm going to cast the yes vote first. Okay, so. I'm going to pass the yes vote with this wallet as quickly as I can. I'm doing a bunch of no's. And I'm going to then cast a no vote to show you and to check if this uh, one person, one vote works. OK? So this is the new right to the file system. Oh, come on. What? Mm, uh, nothing. I have a password thing. Sometimes this retry is worthless. I mean, uh, you cannot jump into the future. Well, I, I wish I was sharing my screen or recording it because I've got three different browser account profiles saved nice. with wallets that I, you know, so I'm actually voting across the board on on this with different wallets. It's kind of fun. This is weird. Ah, okay. I designed. I, I have a, a bug on the code, but it's uh, not important. Uh, a bug on, okay, on my, this. My vote should be submitted. Okay, cool. Um, so now I'm going to 
check if we if I go back here to the search um, let's go into say yes and no but let's go into search for the same thing okay it's going to be duplicated All right, I've got one that's in a new now. Oh, uh huh. This is checking for the prefix. Damn. Oh, I said damn on the camera. Sorry. Uh, okay. So we should have cleaned. I mean, maybe worked on a clean. <laughs> um uh, file or enforce some different find name maybe the entire find name we can enforce instead of the keyword it's okay i mean these are tiny things to fix uh it's not the end of the world but what i wanted to to do um uh, if we check the results we cannot do it here okay so let me see maybe yeah everybody needs to go soon oh i don't know never, never mind but i need to I do three no votes three with different wallets okay what i need to do is um voting this is the this kind of tea where i have, have been voting right and okay i won't have the information here so how can i huh. okay i will take my chances um Guys, in the meanwhile, if you are voting, continue. I need to solve a, a tiny calculation here. Okay, um, you go ahead and solve that. And when you gentlemen are saying you have to go soon or wrap it up, please let us know if there's um, you know, if you need to be very specific exactly what time we need to stop this recording so we can. Uh, uh, we're very close to, to finish. Just please. Wait, wait a bit. No, I get it, but reality um, sometimes oh, no, no. dictates. I'm still here. Adriana, you and I, we don't worry about reality or time. They call you Adriana the oh. human to try to pretend. <laughs> I mean, we're recording this, so. We we are, but if they need to go, then much time. It's just um... no. I I can stay, and we're recording. So if Curtis Curtis needs to drop off, it's okay. Yeah. How did and I we can always start a new recording if needed. Well, uh, Dave, yes, I know sir. you do need to do some stuff. So give us the time. No, no, no. You you guys go ahead. It's 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 all right. I made arrangements. Okay. Oh, did you? Yes, sir. What kind of arrangements? You've got you've got uh, um, T-bone steaks being delivered for everybody on the team here. I wish, man, I can't wait to be able to do things like that. Uh, Curtis, you leave earlier. Don't let your family be upset at all. Like, oh my gosh, it's birthday dinner. What? Is it your birthday? Yeah, man. Dude. Uh, my birthday. Birthday. Oh, you know what? He's so sneaky. He's so sneaky. I knew it was coming up. I just didn't know what, or what day it was. Uh, Dagwell was two days ago. And my mom on the same day. Not that I'm doxing the shit out of everybody. <laughs> We can edit that part out.
Yeah, please. Well, guys, um, if we want to, to stop here, maybe we can improve this later. But basically, what I was trying to do here is to filter the no votes by checking the file content. OK? So if the file content is uh, the hash of the string no, we are filtering for no votes. And the same thing we can do with the yes. Okay. Right. And we need a different file hash here. But I, I have a, I mean, object something that happened there, but uh, maybe there is a tiny bug or something. Okay, but uh, just keep that in mind. Okay. That's, uh, this is the end. No more. Okay, so have you been able to look and see all the new votes? I'm oh, sorry. Ah, dang it, man. <laughs> Did anyone hear the fireworks go off? No. no. Oh, okay, great. Uh, um, we need to definitely save <laughs> uh, save this recording because I just jumped out of my shoes here. That's what um, happened. I was like, oh, did he drop something on the floor? <laughs> dude, two fireworks just a boom, boom. Yeah, so anyway, um, I'm going to see if uh, – I'm not going to take your job, Dave. Like, you're the you're the wrap it up, dude. Like, that's, that's sure that's not what I'm doing, so I don't think I'm stepping on your, your territory here. Hey, hey, hey. Because I do, I, I, I do as, want to hear as, this route. As CEO of Decipher – Oh, no, I'm sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. As CEO of Omni Arc, I'm delegating that to you, Quasar. <laughs> oh man, come on! Uh, nobody can do it as good as you. Um, and plus, I think this might be Adriano's first time, so um, you know everything to you. But I'd like to take a, a, a set here and say, Adriano, um, I think you, there's something that you could do to show the um the the current votes on the new sets that you sent that you shared over the new yeses and noes if that's important or not um if we need to see it and then um let's take what we've done here and then wrap it back into the actual um proposals projects that are you know uh you know very very soon to see where we are from where we began, um, which doesn't need um, to be recorded or anything. Okay, that, that, Q, I didn't get it exactly what you said uh, at the beginning, but happy birthday. Who is the one who is, uh, who, Dave? Oh, it's definitely Curtis's birthday. Ah, Curtis, Curtis. okay. Curtis. <laughs> Pure <birthday>. relativity. <laughs> uh, Congratulations, yeah. man. Uh, uh, I would give you the night off, but this hackathon is going to murder us for the rest of the night. So <laughs> you're definitely not getting a night off. <laughs> and that's what I want to do, maybe, is, is take this time and give um, Curtis the single best birthday present he has ever had in his entire life um, by, you know, having this hackathon, this voting this code and everything ready to go. And I, I didn't mean that about his best single best birthday. We all know that was when he was seven and he got a pony ride. Well, so many smiles. <laughs> okay, um, guys, we're, def we're, we're definitely editing this out, by the way. I would not. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. But I mean, if we're going to stop the recording, let's do it. And then I want to vote to. Um, I want to regroup with Adriano and and you, Dave.